Your local weather authority, Robert Bettis, the Borderlands only certified broadcast meteorologist. All right, Robert, we've been talking about this extreme heat. Uh, I have this really sweet story. Luckily, it ended up in a in a good way uh, about these two runaway dogs. Now, these two pups, Lolo and Lily, ran away into the Franklin Mountains this weekend and got lost. Oh, but no. Animal services came to the rescue with scorching heat, making the rescue a race with time. The oh. animal protection officers found Lola and Lily after a mile and a half incline, and both dogs were exhausted and dehydrated for being out in triple digit oh. heat. And the poor 70 pound golden retriever Lola oh. had to be carried down actually because oh. she couldn't walk. And luckily they were successfully returned to their owner who discovered, well, they escaped from an open gate in the backyard. Uh, as you can see, Lola and Lily oh. were both so happy oh, to be back Lola with their owner. Lola and Lily. How cute are they? Uh, and congratulations to Animal Services. Seriously, Thank they you. carried a uh, little. One's Lolo? I think, Lo Which one's I think Lolo is the bigger one. Lolo? The golden Lolo. L Lolo? Lolo? Yes. Lolo? Lily? And Lily. They're <laughs> so cute. Boy, they don't look hot at all, do they? I've had no, a lot of friends look <laughs> like this the last few days. <laughs> Poor things. I believe uh, the animal services wrote they got in the car and they just oh. drank a bunch of water and got little treats. I'm glad they were safe. Me too. Okay. But we need to be careful in this heat. I know. Well, let's be thinking about Lolo and Lily tomorrow, shall we? All of us, even the ones who say, I'm tough, I could take the heat, I've lived here all my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get a headache if I'm out in too much, and I like to garden. So stay inside. Let's let this heat wave pass, and then we'll go outside again because the monsoon is on the way. Fourth of July weekend coming up, and we'll see storms. Just like my granny says, it always rains on the fourth of July. Tomorrow, excessive heat warning in effect. It's that purpley color right here in El Paso County, right along the border, everywhere else, excluding the mountains, under a heat advisory. So temperatures are going to go up a degree or so tomorrow, if not more. Now, these are the highs so far. Yesterday it was 107. So far, we've made it to 106 here, 109 Juarez, 106 Las Cruces, 104 Alabogordo, 91 even in Ruido, so 103 at the pass and 106 Van Horn. At the airport right now, it's 106 degrees. I don't think we're done climbing on temperature. We've got winds coming in at 15 miles per hour, gusting to 23 miles per hour. As expected tonight, the winds will turn light and variable. I just want to compare other towns in Texas because it has been so miserable. 110 Del Rio, 111 so far in Midland, 101 Lubbock, 99 Dallas, 109 down in Laredo. Here's a look at the satellite radar composite. That dome of high pressure is keeping the cloud cover away, and it will be a cloud-free day again tomorrow. Winds again tonight will taper off, and then they'll turn light and variable at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, we can expect the heat to reach its maximum on Monday with a high temperature of 110 degrees. Here comes your allergy forecast. 5.6 on Tuesday, 5.1 on Wednesday. Traveling the hot spots for severe weather right along the mid-Atlantic seaboard tomorrow. The Carolinas, Virginia, under that dome of high pressure, we roast and of course will be our hottest day on Monday. 110 for El Paso, 105 for Deming, 106 Alabogordo, 108 Las Cruces, 111 potentially for what is 70 your low temperature tonight Las Cruces high temperature tomorrow 108 heat advisory for you tonight 78 low temperature at the International Airport winds diminishing clear tomorrow sunny and 110 with that excessive heat warning the highest level that can be issued for heat so exercise extreme caution that excessive heat warning extends into Tuesday with a high of 109 then that ridge starts to break down and things start to get better 105 on Wednesday with sunshine partly cloudy skies Thursday and Friday 103 and 102 100 even on Saturday partly cloudy could we see the first storms Sunday evening I think so 98 and then thunder showers daily for Monday and on the 4th of July 93, kind of a humid feel and storms.